वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल जैन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बेलगाम प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशंस लाइक द वीडियो कमेंट एंड शेयर इन दिस वीडियो वन नॉन होमोजेनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ अ फोर्थ ऑर्डर आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व हियर दैट इज गिवन इक्वेशन इज द d to the power 4 plus 10d square plus 9 into y equal to 96 times sin 2x into cos x okay first of all the solution contains two parts first i will calculate to find cf complementary function okay auxiliary equation is given by m to the power 4 plus 10 m square plus 9 equal to 0 m to the power 4 is there means four roots you should get and i can convert it in terms of quadratic equation by converting this m square okay m i can write this one as m square square plus 10 m square plus 9 equal to 0 for our convenience let m square equal to k therefore it becomes k square plus 10 k plus 9 equal to 0 and what are the roots of this quadratic equation using that i will find out m now okay first of all go to equation mode option number 5 and that third is quadratic equation coefficient is 1 10 and 9 therefore my k is equal to minus 1 and k equal to minus 9 k equal to minus 9 are the roots for k equal to but i want m equal to k k equal to m square i have done m square equal to minus 1 m square equal to minus 9 which implies which implies m is equal to plus or minus i and m equal to plus or minus 3i uh, i due to this minus signs therefore cf yc equal to first root no real part is there therefore directly i can write c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus second root also not containing real part therefore directly C three cos three x plus C four sine three x. Okay, these are the CF. Now I have to find out PI. Okay, here. Okay, while before I, uh, writing PI. Okay, PI I will write here to find out PI. I will write ninety six times sine two x. Into cos x divided by d to the power four plus ten d square plus nine is pi. How to find out? Okay. Now, as sine x and cos x are there, this should d square only should be replaced. But here d to the power four is there. Therefore, this one I can write as factors of two terms. You can just observe here m square minus one, m square minus nine are there. those are from these things i can write them as m square plus 1 into m square plus 9 equal to 0 from this one therefore this term i can write it as okay i can write them as 96 times sin 2x into cos x divided by in terms of d square i have converted factors like this that is d square plus one and d square plus nine I can write and the numerator is a product of two terms sine two x into cos x okay directly I cannot apply the particular integral formula therefore I can convert them into addition of terms as I will use the formula sine a into cos b is a thing but one by two times sine of a plus b plus sine of A minus B formula I can use. Okay, sine A into cos B equal to this formula. A is nothing but two x, B is nothing but uh, x. That implies ninety six times into one by two times I can write one by two times sine of two x plus x three x plus sine of two x minus x will become x. And whole divided by d square plus one into d square plus nine. 
Now, as the addition of two trigonometric terms are there, I can split them into two terms. Okay, as I will write it as a two ones are two nine forty eight. Forty eight into bracket sine three x whole divided by d square plus one plus sorry d square plus one into d square plus nine and second term as sine x divided by d square plus one into d square plus nine I can write okay now I will call these two one as p i one and p i two and I will solve forty eight times this is my p i one and this one is p i two these two I will separately solve and I will come back substitute in this here okay consider now consider p i one is equal to sine three x divided by d square plus one into d square plus nine okay as sine three x is there d square must be replaced by d square is replaced by minus three square three is a suffix here, coefficient of x here therefore three square which is nothing but minus nine if you substitute d square equal to minus nine here it becomes zero second term will become zero that's why i will substitute only in the first term next i will substitute that okay i will make a, i will make it one easy to simplify that says uh, only in only in a d square plus one i will substitute therefore it becomes sin 3x divided by minus 9 plus 1 into second term I'll rip as it is d square plus 1 as it is this implies okay let me write here sin 3x divided by 8 8 into d square plus 9 okay 8 into d square plus 9 if I am solve this one if I replace d square again here, it will become automatically 0. Just you can check here. Sin 3x divided by 8 into minus 9 plus 9. That is sin 3x divided by 0, which is not the particular integral. That's what I will do. x is multiplied and sin 3x divided by 8 also I will take here. Differentiate this d square plus 9. Differentiation of a d square plus 9 is 2d. Correct plus zero and one by d is the third integration that or is x divided by sixteen into one by d. I can write as integration of sine three x dx. Therefore, my pi one will become x divided by sixteen into integration of sine three x is minus cos three x divided by three. Okay which implies uh, pi1 is equal to minus x cos 3x divided by 48 is my pi1. Similarly, pi2 from this one here, pi2 is the what? Sin x divided by d square plus 1 into d square plus 9. I will calculate and I will come back here. Consider pi2, consider pi2 equal to sin x whole divided by d square plus 1 into d square plus 9 and here again d square if it is replaced by d square is replaced by minus 1 square equal to minus 1 just check if you are substituting in this again it will become 0 and it will become not a particular integral that's why I will substitute only in this and next step I will substitute here okay only in d square plus 9 I have to substitute that will become pi2 will become sin x divided by d square plus 1 as it is first term second term minus 1 plus 9 that is nothing but sin x divided by divided by 8 times d square plus 1 okay here if you are replacing d square by minus 1 then it becomes 0 sin x divided by 8 into minus 1 plus 1 there is a sin x divided by 0 which is not the pi that's why what i will do here if it is becoming 0 then this should be differentiated and multiplied by x therefore x into sin x divided by this 8 i will write outside here and differentiation of d square plus 1 is what 2d plus 0 
and again d 1 by d is what integration that i will write it as 8 divided by sorry x divided by 16 x divided by 16 into integration of sin x dx which is nothing but x divided by 16 x divided by 16 integration of sin x will become minus cos x is our particular integral 2 okay pi 1 and pi 2 together i have calculated therefore pi equal to pi equal to 48 times pi 1 pi 1 is minus x cos 3x divided by 48 and pi 2 is nothing but minus x cos x divided by plus was the due to this minus it will become 16 and here lcm we can take as okay we can take the lcm and you can write it as 48 times 48 is the lcm then it will become you have to multiply by 3 here minus x cos 3x minus 3x cos x 16 3 is a 48 therefore it is okay 48 48 cancels therefore our particular integral is nothing but particular integral is minus you can take outside x cos 3x plus 3x cos x is my particular integral therefore complete solution is nothing but uh, solo cf plus pi therefore complete solution complete solution y is nothing but uh, cf plus pi what is my cf now cf is nothing but c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and c3 cos 3x plus c4 sin 3x this is minus i have taken common pi minus that's why it is x into cos 3x cos 3x plus 3x into cos x is the pi and together will complete solution or general solution we call okay like this another example on this type only i am going to solve in my next video if you not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel so that you will get the note and press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my next videos like this video comment and also share this video thank you friends